One lure type that has really taken the muskie world by storm is a swim bait. This is a swimming dog by Musky Innovations. As you can see, it's quite chewed up, but most of mine are because they're very effective musky lures. But a huge question I get asked a lot is how do you fish them? You know, people don't know exactly how to fish them. It's really, there's nothing you can do wrong with them. You just cast them out, reel them in. But I like to fish them like a bucktail. I cast them out, speed them up and slow them down, trying to give a very natural presentation, but in speeding up and slowing down, trying to trigger a muskie to strike. Equipment is important when fishing a swim dog because these are heavy baits and because they're also rubber, muskies tend to get their teeth into them. So you need to crack their hold on the bait when you set the hook. So this is a larger size sw uh, swimming dog and I rig it with a, I've got a, a 5.1 to 1 retrieve ratio reel. You don't need a high speed reel for all applications. I've got a St. Croix uh, Legend Elite eight and a half foot heavy action rod. Um, I've got 80 or 100 pound test braided line leading to a stealth tackle fluorocarbon leader, 130 pound test. And uh, this is my setup for fishing the larger swim dogs and uh, whale tails. And the way I fish them is just to bomb them out. You gotta thumb the spool a little bit so the tail lays out, otherwise it may fall. And then I just kinda speed it up, slow it down, speed it up, slow it down. Sometimes I turn the rod to the side to try and trigger a fish. Sometimes I can come back this way, speed it up, slow it down, and that bait keeps coming all the way back to the boat. Wobbling, 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 and you end every retrieve with a figure eight. Hugely important whether you're fishing clear water or dark water. Now, of course, what you just saw is for shallow holding muskies, you know, in shallow water over weeds or shallow rocks, or for muskies that are suspended up high, you know, just a couple feet down in the water column over open water. Now, that all works great. You can also count down the swimming dog, and they sink about a foot per second. So if you want to run them at 10 or 12 feet, just count them down, 1,001, 1,002, till you get to 10 or 12, and you can do so. You can also give them a pumping action, but I like a straight retrieve kind of fast and speeding up, slowing down, trying to get a muskie to commit. When they eat these things, with the larger models, it tends to be a T-bone. With the smaller one, the whole bait tends to be in the fish's mouth. Now to fish the smaller one, this is an eight inch model here. I use an eight and a half foot medium heavy St. Croix rod. Again, that 5.1 to one retrieve ratio reel, 65 pound test braided line. It allows for a little bit longer cast. And then I use a stealth twitch bait leader. This is made by Stealth Tackle. Um, it's short. It doesn't throw too much weight into the face of the bait so that it makes the bait run kind of funky. But if you get a big fish to eat this and when they do, they, like I said, they have the whole bait in their mouth. When that happens, this leader is high quality components. It's not gonna fail. And so this is my rig for fishing the smaller ones. And again, I fish them the same way as the big ones, either fish them up underneath the surface as a, you know, kind of like a bucktail, or you can count them down and fish them like a bucktail, or if you want, you know, give them that pumping action. But the swimming dog is a fantastic bait. Swim baits are fantastic baits. And if you want to add them to your musky repertoire, you won't be sorry.